everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast, Full Lid Friday. How you doing today? Man, it's been a week. It's been good. It's freezing here. We got some weather yesterday. It was crazy. You could, I'm like, why is school canceled? There's like this much snow on the ground. And then you try to shovel it and it's all ice. So the neighbors and I were all helping each other do all each other's driveway and everything. It took us, I was sweating to the oldies, okay? I was sweating. Shouldn't have wore the snow pants. Almost died out there. Anyway, it was just crazy snow. So hopefully you guys are having better weather than we are here. So today we're talking about a few things. Dockety Dozen did a dupes video that everybody's like really, really pissed about. And I watched it and I'm pissed about it too. Really, really disgusting. We're going to update you guys on Brittany Dong or B Dong as I like to call her and some shit that she was keeping. This girl, man, I don't know. She might have been in jail. Like this shit is crazy. And using like God to be like, you know, I, nobody can judge me. Well, they, yeah, they can. It's legally they're allowed to judge you. That's what this is all about. We're gonna talk about Kira a little bit, just a bit. She She's a little bit of a liar. We're gonna call her one of her big lies and that's it. We do spin the wheel on Fridays and it, since it's the last Friday of the month, every single member is on this wheel right now from Patreon and YouTube. So I spin it twice, do a little dance, give away some prizes. So cross your fingers, let's see if you win. Yeah, baby. Maple Leaf Mama. Sounds like a Canadian lady. Love it. Yeah, baby. Oh, hey, new tattoos ready? There you go. Boom. RJ, you guys win. You guys see the new tattoos? It's all done. It hurt. RJ wins, guys. Reach out to me, Josh, at the Dad Challenge Podcast.com with your shirt size and your address, and I'm going to hook you up. Let's go. Some housekeeping. Okay. I did a live yesterday. I did a live a couple days ago about the stalker situation. I found out a little bit more. It's not Social Spoons who's my stalker, although Social Spoons was part of the whole. Discord group and everything actually uh, it actually turned out to be a great live because I then discovered who my stalker was and when you guys find this out it's gonna be bananas I'm gonna tell you a whole story about it coming up soon it just gets crazy and the story goes back a couple like a year and a half a little bit more than a year and a half and it involves so much research and stuff that uh, some other people were helping me with and it is absolutely bananas and scary like you guys know I've been catfished in Australia by that crazy lady. This is even worse, and it is just bananas. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I just got off the phone with a lawyer first, and so we got to figure all that out, but I will tell you all about it soon. We're going to kick it off today with Bidong. So Bidong, if you didn't know that Bidong is being sued by the Texas AG, which is the attorney general, for scamming the shit out of people, okay? And people had released some documents that were filed in the case, and so the AG, this is on the Brittany Dawn Snark page, and it was, so the AG's office filed a motion for sanctions against Bidong and her lawyers for their shenanigans in producing the requested documentation and information. So I guess Bidong and her lawyers are trying to screw over or just not follow the rules or whatever, because there are rules. And so the lawyers are like, well, you're going to keep screwing us. We're going to, because clearly she's guilty. If she's such this Christian person, what is she so, what is she, why does she continue to lie? Render to Caesar what is Caesar's. That's literally what the Bible says. Jesus says in the Bible. If B-Dong ta owes taxes and owes people that she ripped off and is refusing to do that, then she's a disgusting piece of trash. First of all, she's not looking for forgiveness for her sin that she admits that she did. Okay? She's not trying to make it right, which she should be doing as well, and she's not trying to do that. She's lying about it all. Okay? She's and, she's and she's coming out on her platform like she's this Christian. But she's coming out and saying, you know, you can't judge my past, blah, blah, blah. You know, you, you can judge your past. If you don't make it right with people, how are you going to how are you going to overcome that sin? You're going to be judged for that. Right. Anyway, all that to say, here's some of the things she was doing. She's getting at some uh, some shit, some skullduggery was it is deemed to be established in this cause that defendants represented the defendant Davis would provide one on one coaching and or modify the workouts and nutritional guidelines via weekly coaching as part of the personalized fitness plan. But she did not provide such coaching modifications. It is deemed to be established in this cause that the defendants represented 
Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to skip that part. Would provide individual nutrition assessment modifications and plans, but Defendant Davis failed to do so and provided the same assessment and plan, essentially the same. So she's being sued for ripping off people. She put one plan together and gave it to everybody. You know who did that too? Bits of Bish. She did that too when she was trying to sell her course. Same thing. Oh, you get like a half an hour with me. I'm going to make it. And it wasn't. It was all the same bullshit. I'm surprised she didn't get sued either. Def and then it says here, defendants are prohibited from opposing the plaintiff's claims that there is no evidence that defendants provided coaching or individualized macronutritional assessment or plan to cover the 93% of the consumers. Okay, defendants are prohibited from introducing evidence that defendants provided coaching or individual. Same thing. Defendants are prohibited from using documents not previously produced in discovery. Okay, including but not limited to as deposition. And so they're saying you can't bring more shit in. If you're not going to give us the stuff, you can't just make it up later. That's how I read that. And defendants are ordered to pay the plaintiff's attorney fees and expenses incurred for the preparing filing. So they're like, hey, look, you're not going to help us. Fine. You're not going to give us proper documentation. Fine. You're also going to pay for everything, which is she going to pay the she's got to pay Texas for that. And so one of the things, too, if you go over to Brittany Don Effery on uh, Instagram, they post another thing. And this is what this person says. So she apparently claims, and I think I have it here. So apparently this post says, hey, not sure if you saw this, but I think it would be worth sharing. She lied about her fitness income and said she only made $169,000 when she made over $1.5 Damn, you in trouble, girl. PayPal business account records for the for beatonfit.com. Now, now you know it's connected to beatonfit. So at least $1.561 million received since the account was opened in February 12, 2013, which is significantly more than the 169000 that defendants identified in their third amendment and verified discovery response. So she lied again to the, like, she's, I, I don't know, she can, go to, can she go to jail for that? That is crazy. So B Dong um, hopefully is going to be caught up in some criminal charges, and now we know too that I didn't this didn't come up because she wasn't part of the whole people I was covering. B Dong also took out a PPP loan, Texas, for twenty six thousand dollars for two employees, which was her and her husband. If you know anything about the PPP loan scandal, so many family vloggers took this PPP loan, and hopefully they're all going to be held accountable for it because none of them needed it. It was for businesses to pay employees to continue to get the business running. No YouTube channel needed to take this money out because they didn't suffer. If anything, all the YouTube channels and platforms made more money over COVID because they were watched more because people were home more. So all these YouTubers, and I mean like there are so many of them that took loans. They are going to be held accountable, I think. And I hope so. And we're going to keep covering that. So B-Dong not only took a PPP loan, disgusting, but she also failed to disclose like Mo all, almost all of her money. She's like, I only made 170000 when she made $1.5 million scamming people. And now she's a Christian. Remember, she was the fitness scammer that grifted. And now she, she turned a new leaf and she's a Christian. Now she's like, well, I'm a Christian now. That was when I was a douchebag. Yeah, but that's, you're still not. Becoming a Christian does not absolve you of your sins in the world. Okay? Becoming a Christian and asking forgiveness to God, that's sure. Maybe. But you still have earthly consequences. I, f I feel like she thinks because she's now this Christian that she shouldn't have to deal with her earthly consequences. That is not how that works. And that is stupid. And B-Dong, you're the douche grifter of the day. Congratulations, you dumbass. <laughs>And then she makes posts like this. Reminder, the devil tries to get you to worry about the future so you can't focus on the joy in the present. Does he? Is that what he does? Brittany Dawn it should be called Brittany Devil. Burn. Here's another one. What would you spend your $1.5 million on? What does she spend? Like, what does she do with that money? What is going on? Where did it all go? Is she hoarding it? This is what I hate about Christian grifters, too. They're always like, the devil wouldn't be attacking you so hard if there wasn't something of value on the inside of you. You mean the money that you owe people? That's valuable, right? Why don't you just own up to it and be... If, imagine Brittany Dawn said, you know what, guys? I've turned into leaf. I'm a Christian now. I realize what I did was wrong and I'm going to pay back all these people. I'm sorry. I want your forgiveness. That's what a Christian should do. Is she exhibiting Christian behavior here? Spoiler alert. No, she's not. She's exhibiting more sinful behavior and more sinful behavior. She needs to chill in the fake tanner. Like, you got to chill, lady. You're killing me. I think I know what she spent 1.5 million on. Self tanner. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's move on to the Doherty dozen. Um, they, when just when you think she might be changing things up and trying to turn a new leaf because she's 
I don't know if she's listening, I guess, or just mitigating the disaster that is her channel. Uh, she goes and does something like this, which is called Dash Does Dupes Part 2. And obviously people are up in arms because basically she's bullying her children to her, her other child. Now let's watch it together and then we'll break it down. So dupe, if you didn't know, is a duplicate. And you're like, Josh, you're a duplicate of this guy or this guy, right? But that's what a dupe is. So he's saying Sideshow Bob dupe, which is actually, if you look at the comments, which we're going to look in a second on the on Dockety Snarkety, some people are calling that pretty racist to say that. Because kids who have hair like that and Sideshow Bob from Simpsons, they it's, 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 it's just a form of racism. He shouldn't be saying that. And again, this isn't Dash saying these things. It's... It's Alicia telling Dash what to say. So everything Dash is about to say, Alicia told him to say that, just so you guys are aware. How does he know who Sideshow Bob is? Simpsons have been around for 30 years. This kid doesn't know Simpsons. So this right there off the top, you automatically know that it's Alicia telling her him what to say, which is disgusting. Not again. Peter Griffin Dupe. Peter Griffin Dupe. Now, they're making fun of his weight because Peter Griffin is a big dude. James is a big guy. Right? And he doesn't know who, how does he know? You let your kid watch Family Guy? What is he, six, seven? You're letting him watch Family Guy? No. So again, one more reason to say that Alicia is trying to say, hey, he looks like Peter Griffin, which is disgusting to say about your child. James is one of the most bullied children on this channel, and it is disgusting what they do. And James will just like playfully punch his brother, uh -huh, but that stuff sticks with you. Tr believe me, when I was, I was bullied a lot because being a fat kid, okay? And that stuff sticks with you, and it hurts you. It really, really does. And he might just play it off. That's why people like me, when we grow up bullied, we learn to like be funny. Most people who are funny, guys, it's because we have trauma and that's how we cover it, okay? Like the, no, it's the funniest people have the biggest trauma in their lives. Anyway, so that, again, that just might be in the moment he might laugh it off, but it's gonna stick with him. And that's disgusting that she puts that on the internet. It's not Dash is doing it, it's Alicia. <laughs> Jack Stu. I don't know who Jax is. TRVP twins. TRVP twins. Who is that? Oh, they're just famous kids. Two famous black twins. Okay. Jax. Who's Jax? Jax is a singer. Okay. Do you notice how she like makes the twins connected? Their dupe is like these two good looking, you know, influencer kids and Jax is a good looking singer. James gets a fat cartoon and Deshaun gets, you know, a racist, a racist moniker. Notice that? Notice that. Beyonce. Beyonce, apparently, for Nevea. Gordon Ramsay Doop. He's holding a... This is so stupid. Prince Harry Doop. So Alex looks like Prince Harry. Is that, is that so? Super Doop. I don't know who that is. Sid the Sloth Okay. Sid the Sloth. That's what you can come up with. Can't find something else. Why do these kids get bullied? Why is Alicia bullying them on camera? Does Alicia not realize that she's going to get called? Or is this one of her things where she's trying to be like, she knows she's going to get talked about. And so she puts it on there. And if you look at his face, obviously I have it blanked. But he's not. he does not appreciate being called Sid the Sloth. Nobody would. That is disgusting. Not Dash. That's Alicia. <laughs> And he doesn't, he doesn't, he just has, uh, just has his face on because he wants to, he's, he's in his living room watching TV. Kid comes in and says, you look like Sid the Sloth. What's he going to do? You guys, that's disgusting. Andy Doop. Macy Bookout Doop. Macy Bookout. Who the hell is Macy Bookout? Uh, no. And why would, Alicia's like, make sure you say I look like Macy Bookout because it's some American reality television personality. Who's this, how does this kid know who that is? That's how you know he didn't know what he was saying to any of this. Alicia, you look nothing like any of those people. You look like a witch. You look like this guy. You look like this person. You do not look like that. And that's just telling you that Alicia told him to say that because Alicia thinks she looks like someone who's attractive. And let me tell you this. You don't. You're a piece of crap for doing that to your child. So Alicia deletes the comments on, uh, on, the, on the short. Okay. And, but she made this excuse. She said, when the kids are featured 75% in the videos, she, the YouTube turns the comments off. That is an absolute bullshit lie. 100% that's a lie. YouTube brought comments back. They used to take them off completely from anything with the kids on them. And they brought them back, which I don't know why. Because you're losing money, I guess. So she's lying about that. And she's like, I'm trying to get them back on. Trying to get, no, no, you're a liar. She's deleting comments galore because she knows she did something stupid. She got ratioed in this one. Here's some of the comments. Yeah, Alicia definitely told him at least half the names to say. Poor 
P and J are being bullied by their own family when they make up half only four kids in that family. If you're reading this, Jay, you're an awesome kid. We notice how you care for people around you. It's not okay how you're treated or portrayed online by your mom. Make sure you also take care of P. He's a good kid too. And hope you both know that you're worthy of all the good things in this life. Amen. Alicia, you really let me down by calling D a clown. You want him to cut his hair off. Would it be easier to look at if he shaved his head? You want to bully him into looking the way you want him to look. Why did you pick on looks? You cross an ethical line. Funny how people are just now calling her out for bullying. She condones this behavior on a daily basis, especially towards J and P. Wow, so funny, bullying J about his weight and P about his appearance. We all know Dash didn't come up with these. This is Alicia letting us know what she really thinks. Mixed black white people are often teased and called Sideshow Bob if they grow their hair out. I know from experience, it's hurtful and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. D said not again after D called him Sideshow Bob. Self-esteem is fragile when young. Also when you have major issues. When you're adopted and fostered and everything else and you're not wanted by your parents, okay? That's That triples down on bullying. Looks hard for everyone. A person takes cues from the external world to get sense of how their looks are perceived. You are calling him a clown because of his looks. Sideshow Bob is a clown. Why did clowns historically have big hair? D shaves his head. My heart will break a little. Shame. Alicia is absolutely disgusting. What kind of mother would do this to her children? Making fun of them in front of millions of people. If you think this is funny, I'll pray for you. Yeah, I'm sure this goes over well with some of the younger ones who already feel awkward in their own skin. I get it. It was supposed to be fun and all, but I feel like it was taken a little too far with the Peter Griffin dupe. It's not really the greatest character to be compared to. Poor P looked like he's taken aback. Just plain mean. Sid the Sloth? Wow. People are saying this is okay. I, not only did they get bullied now, it's all the, over the internet people to see. I can't imagine what the kids are feeling. See, this is the problem, calling him Sid the Sloth or Peter Griffin. Probably already gets called those things at school, and he probably came home and told you that, and then you used it against him. Or now they, they're going to say that because you made it okay to say that. So that kid, if he has, if he has peers at school who watch your videos... Right? They're going to be like, Sid the Sloth, Sid the Sloth, Peter Griff. They're going to make fun of him for that. You open the doors and they're like, well, her his mom calls him that. So I can call him that. How are you this stupid? Where some of the kids get like great characters and Alicia putting herself into a great character. And some of them get not so great characters. Are you out of your fucking mind? You absolute donut. You should be ashamed. And she isn't. Alicia is never going to learn until everything gets canceled. If you look at her videos, she is absolutely getting massively ratioed on daily. Like she just released a video five hours ago, 20,000 views. Hi everyone. Already almost has a thousand downvotes compared to 1.7 thousand upvotes. I'll download it. I'll downvote it too. Right. That's, that, it's getting quick. She's, her ratio is getting quicker and quicker and quicker, which is nuts. Because if you go to yesterday's video, will it waffle? I don't know what this was are waffling. 3,000 downvotes compared to 1.6 thousand upvotes. Every video she's doing, she's getting massively ratioed. I've never seen anything like this on the internet. Now, YouTube's going to have to stand up eventually and say, okay, we're not going to allow, we're not going to condone this. We're not going to allow kids to be bullied on the internet by their own family and exploited. It's going to change. The rules are changing. Laws are coming in. It's getting good. I'm so glad. So y'all don't roast y'all family? No, we don't do that like this, especially in front of people, you dumbass. Of course, Raven Miller thought it was funny because you're a douchebag. Damn it, poor JMP. I feel like they always get the crappy end of the stick. Yeah, they do. This is effing disgusting, Alicia. You wish you looked like Macy. Be a better mom. Clearly, you're telling him to encourage him to do this. What's a safer views? I mean, I don't know what else to say. That's crazy to me. So again, Alicia, you get douche mom of the day. Congratulations, you, you utterly disgusting flaming taint. All right, moving right along. Okay, so I'm gonna do the full Q&A because as I was watching this to get this timestamp, this thing is a flaming pile of garbage too. So Kira, I just wanna point out one quick lie that she made and that we can all call her out on because she needs to continue to be called out. She doesn't understand why people don't like her. Uh, this is from her Q&A nine months ago, okay? Um, have you and Oscar discussed introducing the kids to new partners? We've had small conversations, kind of. I mean, again, like dating and stuff is not super on our minds right now, but we- Dating is not super on our minds right now. Remember she said that. We have had conversations about eventually when that will happen. When that will happen. So this was nine months ago. We are now in February, we're almost March, right? Kira posted this. Hannah and I are no longer friends, although I truly love her and I think she's one of the best people to ever walk this planet. My breakup video is a very hard video for me because I was trying to cover all the emotions I was feeling. By not feeling and laughing by doing it, it was appearing heartless and truthfully just overall horrible. What you do, blah, blah, blah. I am dating Preston and we have been seeing each other since March of this year. Hmm, let's see, we're at 11 months. Nine months ago, she said it wasn't dating. 
So there's two months disparagement right there where she's lying to everybody. Why are you lying? So it makes, so she can lie about that. What else is she lying about? Remember my, my, my Vegas girl who said that they admitted that they've been dating since October. Like, what, do you believe anything Kira says now when she can't even keep her lies straight at all? Okay. So she did a video where she's like, we're not thinking about dating. And then she makes a post that says, I've been dating since March. That puts him in almost a year. So that's three months we're missing. So she's been dating him since the moment she left that house. But in my opinion, she's been dating him since before she broke up with Oscar. And she was cheating. And only Hannah really knows. That's what I'm saying. Pretty sure Hannah knows. She doesn't want to say it. I don't know why. But something's up. They're a bunch of ding calls. And so stop watching her. Kira, you don't deserve the platform you have. You are a liar. You, are, you break up families. You are greedy and disgusting. And you wonder why people don't like you. You keep getting caught in lies. So why do you expect people to believe you when you say anything? Right? Caught you there in 4K. Sorry about that. Thank you to the person who reached out to me for that. They want to stay anonymous, but they gave me that, and that was amazing. You did some good work. I appreciate you. And so, Kira, you're the douche liar of the day. So there you go, everybody. That's Folded Friday tied up in a nice, neat little bow. Lots of stuff coming up this coming week. Um, people are doing some shitty stuff. I got a new family I want to talk about and a couple other people that are doing some shitty shit, like they always do. Trisha Paytas is talking about stuff. I'm going to cover this full Q&A from Kira because it was really, really, really cringy. And now we know more. So when you go back and watch those Q&As, it, it's like pretty crazy, right? So ugh. everybody take a deep ass Friday breath. <sighs> Exhale that bad energy coffee breath. Sorry, I have coffee. You guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for being incredible and valuable and amazing. Don't you forget those things about you. You might need to forgive yourself for something. I need to remind a lot of people. Some people are like, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, well, some people, I sometimes need reminding. Okay? Do what you gotta do, but don't be a B-dong. And if you need to ask forgiveness from somebody, maybe you should go do that. Because she's a D. A B-dag. She's a B-dag. D-bag. Sorry. Anyway. Thanks for being here, guys. Don't fly Flair or American Airlines, okay? And I will see you soon.